Hey, queens. So if you're like me and you're mental health to death, you can use Talkspace. And it basically feels like a therapist in your pocket. You can connect with therapists whenever you want. And that's why being able to reach out to my therapist or psychiatrist at any time from anywhere makes taking care of my mental health super easy. And I'm more relaxed when I'm traveling because if y'all know me, I love to travel. And sometimes I get anxiety when I do travel. So I can just talk to my therapist as needed. And when it comes to therapy and psychiatry, getting the help you need has never been more simple than with Talkspace, honestly. And so I recommend Talkspace for therapy. You can sign up online and start therapy the same day as you sign up. You can text, video, or send voice messages to your licensed therapist. So it's incredibly convenient to have virtual sessions from the comfort of your home, which we love because you know that sometimes making appointments gives you anxiety in itself. So it's affordable. Talkspace is actually a fraction of the cost of an in-person therapist. So instead of waiting for an appointment, you can send unlimited messages to your therapist 24-7, and they'll engage with you daily, five days a week, which is super awesome. And Talkspace is secure and private, which we love that. And as a listener of the podcast, you'll get $100 off of your first month with Talkspace. To match with a licensed therapist today, go to Talkspace.com and make sure to use the code UNFAZED to get $100 off of your first month. And show your support for the show. That's UNFAZED and Talkspace.com. Hey, Queens, let me introduce you to Chime, especially if you're trying to build your credit. With Secured Chime Credit Builder Visa Credit Card, you can start building credit with everyday purchases and on-time payments. With Credit Builder, members can increase their credit history with no annual fees or interest. Having a good credit store can mean getting better car loan rates or renting apartments easier or just bragging about it like, hey, girl, my credit is looking so cute and gorgeous. So continue your credit journey with Chime. Sign up takes only two minutes and it does not affect your credit score, which we love that. Get started at Chime.com slash unfazed. That's Chime.com slash unfazed. The Chime Credit Builder Visa Credit Card is issued by Stride Bank NA percent to a license from Visa USA Chime checking account and $200 qualifying direct deposit required to apply for the secured Chime Credit Builder Visa Credit Card. Regular alert on-time payment history can have a positive impact on your credit score. Impact to score may vary and some user score may not improve. Just want to put that out there, guys. So, Get started at Chime.com slash Unfazed. That's Chime.com slash Unfazed. Hey, girls. What the fuck's good? What's poppin'? What's tea? What's juice? I'm Gamo, and you're listening to another episode of Unfazed and Unbothered. Who? what a week. What a week. Very productive week. So uh, let's just jump right into it. I have speculated that I had ADHD for years, but I never sought help for it. I just suffered. I just suffered, honestly. Anyways, fast forward to this past week, I finally had an appointment. I went and saw somebody and I did this questionnaire and severe ADHD. Yeah, it was the culprit. So I've been getting help for that. And y'all, I just, I feel like a new woman. I feel mentally refreshed. I have not had the energy to do anything in a long time. And and by energy, I don't mean like, oh, I can't get out of bed. Like I, I was never in my bed. That's the thing. But I just, I couldn't mustered up the strength and the courage to do even the simplest tasks. And so like everything has just piled up and built up in my life. And ultimately all of that clutter, these thoughts, all of this shit that I really wasn't managing and taking care of my priorities, my chores, my obligations, because I was so like backed up and so far behind on so much and like let certain areas of my life go so far that that was stressing me out and causing me anxiety and I I wasn't diagnosed with depression. I didn't really even talk about my emotions or my feelings. Maybe who knows, but I will say now that I have like some, you know, mental clarity going on, I'm not feeling as fogged mentally, if you will, and bogged down by my thoughts because like the mess that was my life was stressing me out to a point where I felt so far in a hole, like 
trying to imagine myself out of that hole seemed impossible and stressed me out to no wit's end. So needless to say, I did get help. I did also find out that I have high blood pressure, um, which was shocking to me, quite honestly, because even when I was like a, a much bigger person, I didn't have high blood pressure like this. And since changing my whole lifestyle, you know, the obvious uh, blood pressure triggers are like sodium and um, a poor diet, pretty much fried foods. I, I, do, I was eating like chicken tenders, but I was only eating two chicken tenders a day from Publix, like four times a week. Like I was eating far worse when I was a bigger person, but I have I've always been, even when I was like a, a, a bigger person, I've always been ca- cautious of uh, sodium. I've, I've always gotten like the deli meats that were lower sodium, like the fresh deli meats, not the packaged deli meats. Um, I've always steered clear of sodium. I'll say that. So like the a lot of the obvious things that could have been triggering high blood pressure for me just don't apply. Like people this whole week have been like, oh, just cut out the salt. And I'm like, girl. I'm not a salt queen. I don't ever put salt on any of my food. Salt is not a seasoning to me. Mm -mm. I don't put, I don't add salt to anything. Give, give me bland ass broccoli and brown rice per, I'll throw a little Parmesan on that bitch. Call it a day. Okay. But stress is a a huge impact uh, towards your blood pressure. So I'm just going to chuck it to that, that it, that it was, that it's been stress. So I wasn't feeling very well. Um, there, there was several days where I was just really not feeling good physically, mentally, emotionally. I was all over the place. I was like, essentially felt like I was on my breaking point. <laughs> but now I'm, I'm feeling refreshed. I got so much accomplished this week. I'm so proud of myself. I'm patting myself on the back if you are an audio listener because now before anyone is like camo these are like expected things like you don't you don't deserve a merit or an award let me just say it was hard okay and it took a long time it's been a long time coming okay so my room my house impeccable impeccable my car impeccable okay all of my friends who have seen me shocked gagged gooped They're like damn camo what's gotten into you a new leaf was turned in my life okay and i'm just gonna keep this going and you know what i didn't even think about this wow the last episode last week, I read my journal to you, to you girls, and a lot of, wow, mm-hmm. manifestation, we live, laugh, love. <laughs> yeah, so I cleaned my entire house um, with the exception of my grandmother's room, but every other wing of the house, I cleaned top to bottom. Now, this is my room. It is, okay, I'm, I'm giving a, a full pan of my room right now i know like oh bones hey hey handsome oh wrong way oh, i'm so sorry that's my kitty bones chunk of lungs bones arita jones um i know it looks kind of cluttered but it's so clean y'all like i also ordered this canopy bed off of amazon it's like 140 bucks It's great. It's fucking great. My mattress has been on the floor mm, since about 2017, 2018, 2018. Yeah, that's I think that's when I moved out on my own for the first time. Yeah, 2017, 2017. It was when I moved out on my own uh, the first time. I have always had my mattresses on the floor. Now, for me, it was like, who needs a bed frame? Like, It felt more feng shui to me to have the mattress on the floor. It wasn't that I couldn't afford a fucking 
uh, headboard and footboard. I, I just didn't see the the need for it. But like for whatever reason, to literally everybody else in my life, it's been a conversation, a concern. I don't know why, but I finally got a bed frame. And honestly, now that I've gotten one, like I see the appeal. I understand. I understand. Especially because now my bed is lifted like a foot off of the ground. I got a bed skirt off of Amazon. I've never had a fucking bed skirt. Bitch, my fucking bed is wearing a skirt. What? I got a fucking bed skirt so I can hide all my shoes. There's like 50 pair of shoes under my bed. I didn't have that space. My shoes were stacked up Mitch matched, thrown all around, no organization whatsoever. And now they're organized under my bed, but you'll never see them because she's wearing a skirt. <laughs> I'm screaming. Um, wow. I truly believe that your home and your car are direct reflections or yeah, direct reflections of your mental space and you know, it's easy to get an impression or to assume that somebody is a certain way because you see their content online or you keep up with their life. Um, but like we've said many times in the past, like social media is a game and like we all know that. And while I do pride myself on being very transparent and honest, like I'm not throwing all the the bad in everybody's face you know like so needless to say I my car deplorable my room deplorable my closet deplorable my house in general you put two mentally ill people my grandmother she's got you know she's got things wrong with her too we all do it's that's no shade that's that's no tea it's just it is what it is and you you add two people mentally ill and I, I put them in, in the same living space. It's just bound to get ugly. And, you know, she's dealt with a lot of emotions. She's got a lot going on in her life. And we both had kind of just like given up on our space, our living space, our cars. And I'm really, I'm really, 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 really trying to get her on this bus with me because if I could get her room cleaned if she'd allow me to do so this house would be great it would be beautiful and gorgeous like my my energy feels restored because everything is so tidy and clean right now um so again like i know people are like okay Hamel, you cleaned your room per but y'all i got rid of like four actually now because it, it, it was several days i was cleaning i got rid of like six or seven industrial size trash bags of clothing I still have like three more. They are in my bathroom of all places. Weird. Um, of clothing I need to like fold and spray with my perfume and take to like Ragarama and sell it. But um, I think I said last week on the podcast I was going to do that the next day. So that's embarrassing. This is just, you're seeing my procrastination live in real time. <laughs> but I, I uh, still, I've gotten so much done. So um, I'm not even going to beat myself up about it because, bitch. You can't tell me nothing right now. I'm on, I'm on cloud nine. My, like I bought this detailing kit on Amazon. I was at the fucking car wash the other day for two hours. I was scrubbing everything. My car smells great. I got air fresheners in the vents. Like now I've never been a dirty person. Messy as fuck. Dirty, messy, two different things. I've never been the type of person to leave like food and uh trash in my in my living space my car because like i'm bitch i don't want things growing i don't like bugs i don't like unpleasant smells but like my room was just like piles of clothing and clutter and things that were just so unessential unneeded now it's still i still got a lot of shit okay don't get me wrong but at least my shit's not flooding out into my room now it's all tidied up in my closet spaces my drawers everything's organized and yeah so anyways enough of that i'm feeling great i'm gonna go on a break and when we come back we'll be back well I'll... <laughs> you know what i'm saying per 
Hey Queens, I just want to introduce you to Talkspace. When it comes to therapy and psychiatry, getting the help you need has never been more simple. Using Talkspace feels a little like having a therapist in your pocket. And that's why being able to reach out to my therapist or psychiatrist at any time from anywhere makes taking care of my mental health super easy. So if I need to talk to anybody while I'm traveling, etc., my therapist, I can just send her a message from wherever I'm at and she will respond to me, which is super, super great. So working through things in therapy can be tough, but connecting with my therapist is not. I recommend Talkspace for therapy. You can sign up online and start therapy the same day as you sign up. It's affordable. So Talkspace is a fraction of the cost of in-person therapy. Instead of waiting for an appointment, you can send unlimited messages to your therapist 24-7 and they'll engage with you daily, five days a week, which is super, super great. Talkspace has thousands of licensed therapists with years of experience in over 40 specialties, including depression, anxiety, substance abuse, trauma, anger management, relationship issues, food and eating, and so much more. Talkspace is also secure and private and using the latest end-to-end bank-grade encryption technology to store client information and complying with the latest HIPAA regulations. As a listener of the podcast, you'll get $100 off of your first month with Talkspace. To match with a licensed therapist today, go to Talkspace.com. Make sure to use the code UNFAZED to get $100 off your first month and show support for the show. That's UNFAZED and Talkspace.com. She's back. (laughs) So, uh, ADHD live... I took like a long break, took my hair down, you know, kicked my feet up for a bit, hung out with Miss Oregano. So just trying to recalculate. Okay, so I was updating the girls. ADHD, boom, 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 everything I got done this week. Great. We're we're doing great. We're 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 golden, golden gooses, if you will. Um take care of your mental health. Take care of your health, period. If you feel like there's something going on up there in that noodle, do something about it. I waited way too long. So I was prescribed medication. Um, Not going to get into all that juice and details. But yes, I definitely encourage everyone listening who... may already be on their prescriptions or anyone who may go seek help after hearing this and gets prescribed, take your prescription responsibly. Take it as instructed by your doctor, by a health professional. Do not abuse it. I do not encourage, condone, or promote that type of behavior. So just putting it out there I know we've talked a lot about our troubled past, but I just want to let you girls know I'm being responsible with my medications and I encourage the same for you all. So anyways, um, I'm very excited to see what I get done in the next few weeks because I have accomplished, I feel like, so much in the past few days, more than I have in years, honestly. And the, like... I go through these periods of writer's block. Like I, I know, I know I haven't done a good job of putting music out. That's for a multitude of reasons. Um, my physical appearance, I didn't really feel fully there, but mostly my ADHD. Like I, like I've said, like the smallest tasks, like really everything stressed me out. Doing anything seemed impossible I always felt like I was so much more busy than I actually was. Like I wasn't physically busy, but I just felt burdened with, oh my God, like Camo, you really should clean your car out. Okay. But if I clean my car out, where am I going to put that shit? You're going to put in your messy ass room. Okay. Your room's a mess. Clean it up. Like, and trying to start on like the first day when I started cleaning my room, I literally cried. I cried. I cried. I cried. Actually, you know what? I'm going to expose myself right now. I'm feeling a little ballsy, a little bold, if you will. So bear with me, girls. This was my room. Oh, God. Oh, my God. This was a nightmare. Wow. Mm Mm-hmm. Yep. That was my room. Now, granted, my room doesn't always look like that. That was everything I pulled out of my closet. And this was like, I had already gotten rid of probably three big ass bags of shit. And my friend was helping me clean up. 
Thank you so much, Sister Jasmine. Um, much appreciated. Uh, but the first day, I literally was sitting there with all of my shit around me. And for like a 30 minute period, I was just looking around like, where do I start? And I cried. I literally cried. It stressed me out so much. So now that my space is cleared up, now that my car like is welcoming and inviting and clean and like the energy is just, hmm, I don't feel so stressed out. I don't feel, you know, like I feel like I can do anything. But also on top of that, <clears throat> I've mentioned in the past few episodes, I think I've really been protecting my energy. I've not really been hanging out with people now. I know I said like my friends have seen my car and they're like, wow. Um, I hung out with my friend Ariana yesterday briefly. Um, I showed people on FaceTime like her, but like my day to day, I've really not been hanging out with anybody. I've been waking up, going for my morning walk, going to the gym, coming home, writing. Like that's another thing. Like i totally jumped topic like my my writer's block like I would go through these long periods of writer's block and the past week like my creativity boom 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 boom, boom. the the music I've been writing the lyrics that have been coming to my pussy flowing out of me I'm so excited so yeah girls it's very important to address any issues you may be having with yourself because you have no idea the benefit you could, you know, benefit, if you will, taking a medication for whatever mental illness you may have. Um, now, that's not to say that everybody with ADHD needs to take medication, should take medication, shouldn't, whatever. Everybody is case by case. Do what you feel is right. But I will say that my um, my laziness, my procrastination, my forgetfulness, I was losing everything like I would lose my keys every day, my phone, my wallet. I literally had to, um, my keychain was connected with my AirPods, my car keys, my phone, or all my keys. Um, I had my wallet connected to it. Like I literally had everything besides my phone, everything I needed, like there was chapstick on it connected to my keys because I would literally lose all of these things. So if at least I had them all in like one tangible piece I wouldn't lose it you know but then at the same time if I lost that I would be so fucked thank god I didn't I didn't I was able to I was able to keep up with it all better when it was all together but anyways all of those problems I was I was having was really affecting me mentally it was affecting how I could show up for people it was affecting my mood it was affecting my energy it was affecting my conversations like I couldn't focus on conversations I couldn't I would be in the middle of a conversation and fully lose my train of thought and be like even on the podcast like if you look back like a few episodes ago like there was plenty of times where I was just so scatterbrained I know I'm still a bit scatterbrained but at the same time I feel like there's a little more organization with my thoughts you know um so yeah, it's been it's been um, a hell of a week. I'm also down 73 pounds. A lot of people have been asking for a gym routine. So I think I'm going to upload one to TikTok or maybe a couple. I have only really been doing weight training. I don't do cardio. I've done cardio. I'm going to be 1000 in the past three months. I've probably done cardio four times. But I've been talking to somebody else who went through a massive weight loss transformation and they look so skinny and so fit and like together and all they did was cardio so I'm like okay maybe if maybe I just need to get over my hatred for cardio and just suck it up because I mean it, it does serve a purpose but my logic has always been you know weight training when you get off of like a treadmill or an elliptical or whatever cardio machine you're using as soon as you get off of it the calories stop there but with weight training you're tearing your muscles so by doing so not only are you building that muscle to fill up you know I have skin I was a bigger person so I'm building muscle to fill up but your body is burning calories through that entire um healing and like 
while your muscles are restoring and rebuilding and healing, you're burning calories. So for like a 24 hour period, you're burning calories. Whereas if you're, you know, on the elliptical for 15, 20 minutes, which is realistically the maximum amount of cardio I will, I will do. I'm just, I'm not the bitch who's going to go to the gym and run for an hour. It's not me. Um, but realistically, you know, the weight training just, it, it burns more. And it's like, there's like duality because you're burning and you're building. So, but with cardio, you're burning a lot faster. So I feel like if I really bust my ass this week with some cardio, then we'll be good to go, bitch. We'll be good to fucking go. Yeah. So I'm going to try to do that. Um, Totally off topic to any of this. Um, Just remembered this week. I don't know the exact status of this, but um, the Senate is working on codifying same sex marriage, which codifying is like they like code it federally to protect that right. And to my surprise, 47 Republicans voted in favor for this or are in favor. I don't, I, like I said, I don't know the exact um, status of this, but it's like very current event, like very recent, like today and yesterday. Um, so yeah, if that's like official, that's fucking sick and iconic. Basically, we don't have to worry about ever having our rights taken away. Now, if only they could do that for women's rights, that, that would be great. Yeah. Can we, you know, like maybe get on that one next, please? And thank you. <laughs> Don't even know how we got here to this point because anyways, life is crazy. Life is good. Per. So I'm going to go on another break. And when I come back, I'm going to get into the questions you girls asked me on Instagram. So stay tuned. So obviously no one likes waiting on a paycheck, especially when you've got bills due. But good thing, there's Chime. Now you can get your paycheck up to two days earlier with direct deposit. That's up to two more days to save, pay your bills, and generally just feel good about your money situation. Chime is more than just about getting paid early, though. It's also an award-winning mobile app. It's a checking account, debit card, and optional savings account. So hopefully you're not waiting on anything, especially not waiting on your paycheck. Get started with Chime today. Applying for a free account takes less than two minutes. Get started at chime.com slash unfazed. That's chime.com slash unfazed. Banking services and debit card provided by the Bancorp Bank or Stride Bank NA members FDIC. Early access to direct deposit funds depend on payer. Like I said, guys, if you want to get started, getting started with Chime today only takes less than two minutes. Literally, you can get started at chime.com slash unfazed. That's chime.com slash unfazed. Also, if you're trying to build your credit, Chime is the way to go, y'all. We love Chime. And we're back. <laughs> Q&A time, girls. Let's just jump right into it. Per. Okay. Vanessa. Alazate underscore. Hey, girl. How do you style your hair? I honestly don't do anything to it. I don't, I don't put heat on my hair. I I wake up, I put a little water in my hair, I put a leave-in oil plex. I put an oil plex leave-in conditioner in and I call it a day. I put a little um oil plex oil on my ends and purr. And now some days I'll put dry shampoo in my hair, but is that is do does any of that even count as styling? I just be brushing it. But I will say um, the best brush, it is um, the wet brush, but it's specifically the Pro Shine brush. And I think that has helped my hair a lot um, because it's it's got like the, the good wet bristles where like it's not going to rip your hair out. We don't we don't like them hard, stiff bristles. Don't don't be using that shit in your hair. OK, it's got the the, the bendable bristles, but then it's also got like um what are the more like coarse? I don't know what the. What, it's got like the bristles. The, 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 you know what I'm saying? The ones that like polish your hair. I don't know what that one's called, but it's got a mix of both. So it's like brush. It's perfect. It's great. Anyways, thanks for listening. Um, 
get that brush. Okay, Williams makeup. Hey, baby, I love you. Um, what is the hardest part of your weight loss journey? Societal comments, etc. So I mentioned this before, and I just want to reemphasize this point. So when you go through such a drastic weight loss, people's energy switches up around you. Not always bad, you know, but it just kind of solidifies or seals some of your biggest fears, you know? You start hearing people be like, oh my God, you look so good now. Oh my God, wow, you look so much better. Oh my, now I will say like, I don't ever mind somebody like, oh my God, you look so good. Cause you know, bitch, thank you. Like, I feel like I look good now. So when I hear that, that doesn't offend me. Now it is like the sideways comments that are like, wow, you look incredible now. What happened? But like, I I remember I only had one person in like the past, like two or three years in high school, people were very mean about my weight, but in the past few years, I hadn't really heard anybody say anything to me in person. Of course, there was comments online, whatever. But no one had like had the balls to say something to my face until one day I showed somebody like photos of me from back in the day. And then from me, well, they saw me presently and they're like, oh, my God, what happened? But anyways, now the reverse of it all, I have now lost a lot of weight. <clears throat> and people are treating me better. People are respecting me more. People pay attention more. And it just kind of really sucks to know that some of my fears of like, oh, are they thinking about my body? Is that on their mind? Like it was, it was because now they felt so inclined to mention how you look so much better and how, wow, it's amazing. And like, Holy shit. Now, of course, there are people who don't mean anything necessarily. And they're like, wow, you lost a lot of weight. You look so good now. And I'm not saying like something like that. But like, you know, the people who make the and a lot of people don't have self-awareness and they don't really understand the weight of what they're saying. And they really just be saying shit. So I guess that would be my answer. Um, That would probably be the hardest part. Also, just... I guess staying, well, honestly, that would be a lie because I have been pretty focused with my weight loss. Now, I will say that I went on vacation about a, a few weeks ago or a month ago, something like that. And on my vacation, it's vacation. So I, I ate, I treated myself like a queen. I ate good. I was eating motherfucking good, okay, as I should. But I did gain some weight. I didn't stop going to the gym. I went to the gym the whole vacation. And when I came back, I steadily was going to the gym, but my poor eating, I got, I kind of got a little back on my routine, but I wasn't fully dedicated again. And so there was like a two week period where I would gain five pounds, lose five pounds, and then I gained seven. And then I was getting very discouraged. And so getting myself back to where I'm at now mentally with my weight loss was also hard. I feel, but now that like this morning I checked the scale and I'm down 73 pounds. And so that really motivated me. And yeah, so he, Mm -hmm. um, what else can I answer? Yeah. Yeah. People always want to know the off limit questions. I don't like talking about my personal life. Um, okay. Miss Karen underscore Jessica, not Karen with an E though. She's not a Karen. Okay. Karen with an I. I like that. Okay. What is your number one works most of the time confidence booster? So when I really need a boost, you'll know that I'm having a down period or a down day when I get my nails, hair, and, uh, brows done. If I do all of those in one day, you know, I needed to do that for myself. And that typically works. I am a firm believer that if you, you know, if you look good, you feel good. If you feel good, you look good. You know what I'm saying? So 
when you take care of yourself, you, you, you polish yourself, you play up your, your good qualities, your features, if you will, it does do a number like brows, bitch, brows will turn my attitude night and day. When I, when my brows are looking rough, I'm like, okay, per, I'm, I'm existing. I'm just here. But then I get my brows and I'm like, oh my God, who is she? Wow. That typically works. Now it's not going to cure or make my problems go away, obviously, but it definitely helps give me some confidence. Also, um, turning on some flow Millie, some Rico nasty just really gets my pussy jumping. And that helps. I'm typically somebody who listens to melancholy, sad girl music. It's just who I am. It's always been in my nature. I don't even, it doesn't even mean I'm depressed. Like I just, I feel such a, I feel like sad emotional music or a, a music that has got like a deeper meaning. There's more, what's the word? There's more substance there, you know? So there's more to like read. I, I love lyrics, so I'm big into lyrics. So anyways, sometimes I just got to turn off like the, the the sad shit and I just got to turn on some Flo Millie, some Rico, some Nikki, some Doja, get my pussy jumping. You know what I'm saying? Some Lotto, big Lotto, fuck Rice Street. That's my song right there. Always been. Hold it down, girl. Um, okay, Sack, okay, I don't know, Sack Sharinsky Co, okay, hey, where's your septum ring from? Um, this one is from Amazon, it's a cobweb, most of my jewelry comes from Amazon, I used to, like, buy, like, shit at the mall and it would be like 25 bucks for two rings amazon i get like 12 for 12 bucks and it's great same quality perfect um but this one actually so this specific one was 18 dollars by itself just throwing that out there but it's very thick and it hugs my nose very nicely which that was my problem with a lot of other ones i've had in the past that they're too big but Amazon, Amazon is the girl for stuff like this. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. A lot of questions about music. When is music coming? Cute music, music. Okay, so with me now taking medication and with me feeling better just overall with my physical state i am working a lot more i'll say that i'm putting a lot more focus into my music i've not been nurturing my craft i've i've never stopped writing music that has never stopped i try to write every day i listen to instrumentals every day um i write something down every day i do get writer's block where i'm like left with like you know anyways but the music has been flowing out of me this past week and I've been recording things a lot this week. <clears throat> and one of my biggest things has been like how my face looks when I'm singing, like actually sing singing, not just like being silly because like I had like a double chin. So like if singing is such a science and such an art and you have to hold your mouth a certain way and you have to really there's a lot of thought behind singing and being decent, even just borderline decent at it. It's a lot of thought. And my biggest insecurity was how my face looked. So like I would always shy up and, like, and sing very quiet to where no one could hear me. And it just would affect my vowels, my enunciation. I couldn't, I couldn't give my all to the mic, if you will. And now I'm full on fucking this microphone the past week and I'm live, laugh, loving it. So stay tuned. All that to say, stay tuned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Per vocals. Miss Stark Born Italian. Okay, hey. How are you feeling mentally and spiritually? Love you, and I'm so happy to see you glowing. 
thank you. I love you too, mama girl. I'm feeling great. I mean, I've kind of covered that. Spiritually, I feel protected. I am protected. Janae's little mantra. Mm. Spiritually, I feel protected. I've been enjoying my solitude a lot. So I feel like I'm doing a lot for my soul and my spirit. Detoxing, if you will, from energy. Um, But overall, I'm pretty good. Kaden underscore 666. How do I cut off a best friend who keeps lying to me? Honestly, if you want to go like the easy route with no conflict, no confrontation, I would say just pull away. Like don't don't necessarily go out with a bang. You don't have to do that. Um, Take it from me. I've learned many times that that was not the best decision. Um, You don't don't always have to leave with a bang, okay? You can easily just pull away, drift apart. Um, Or, I mean, honestly, before you get to that point, if, if assuming you haven't, you really should address that. I really encourage you address that. Be like, listen, bitch, enough with the shit. You're a fucking liar, a compulsive fucking liar. See how they react. Boom. Um, J305, what are you eating throughout the day? Because, Miha, you're looking fire. Thank you. I have been, so, <clears throat> I have been eating now a lot of fish. Now that I've learned that I'm not allergic, I've been eating a lot of salmon, which I've been cooking in my air fryer. It is so great, honestly. Um, I also started meal prepping this week. I'm really just trying to be my most productive and efficient self. And I said all of that on the podcast last week. And like, honestly, like, of course I remember having that conversation with you girls, but like, I didn't like replay it in my head. So now that it's like all coming to fruition is like, I'm thinking about it. I'm like in a week's time. Wow. Camo. I have been meal prepping. I've been trying to just be efficient and always like um I don't know why I go to Publix like every single day and I get the same things like I get harmless harvest coconut smoothie this is not sponsored by the way love them dearly though harmless harvest coconut smoothie um I will say a lot of people don't live laugh love it around me um but most of them like really sweet things if you like something that's like naturally sweet Mm, it's so good. It's 120 calories. It's it's so good. Um, no added sugar. <clears throat> so I love that. So, and, but anyways, I get the same things every day. But why wouldn't I just like buy them? Like, why wouldn't I just buy 10 and put it in my fridge? I don't know. Like, I, I'm wasting time going to the grocery store every single day. So I have this past week, I stocked up. Also, Publix was like having a buy one, get one on a lot of like their health drinks and like their sh- um, health shots and the harmless harvest that I drink. So I bought so much of it in bulk. It was not cute sw- swiping my card for that amount, but in the long run, it's going to save me money. But yeah. So anyways, this that wasn't even part of, part of your question. I'm so sorry. <gasps> Lots of fish. Lots of brown rice, um, broccoli, lots of liquids, 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 lean meats, cheese. I don't eat added sugars. Um, I have in the past week went to McDonald's and got some fries like once a week. It's now like a routine for me. Not going to beat myself up about that. Treat yourself. Um, But yeah, I don't really eat any sweets or um i stay away from bread i honestly am convinced that i'm like a little gluten sensitive because anytime i have pasta or bread i blow up and i i I feel like i retain water for like a three-day period and the scale overnight is like five pounds more so yeah i'm gonna answer one more and all right i'll answer two more quick questions i'll do a little power round how tall are you queen asked by kelly nasir i'm 5'11 she's a stallion okay um kaylee underscore holland favorite mascara hmm it's a mix between two-faced better than sex and 
uh, is it Lancome? Yeah, Lancome Lash Idol, the one that Zendaya is the face of. Love that one. That one, I love the applicator and the mascara overall is just great. Um, you look like Billie Eilish. Thank you so much, Kaylin underscore. A lot of people keep telling me that. I'm not upset by that comparison. She's a gorgeous beauty queen. Riley, by the way, asked, what's your love language? Time and touch. Affection, showing interest in me and my endeavors, what I've got going on in my day-to-day, asking me questions. If if I can see that you are, like, engaged with me and you're genuinely in- interested in what I got going on, and I'm not just talking about, like, the internet, like, what's going on up here, that's my love language. I don't need anyone to buy me anything. I don't need people to, you know, I don't need people to spoil me. Just make time for me. Hit me up. Let me know you're thinking about me. Boom, 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 boom. Per. <clears throat> um, yeah, that that's about it. A lot of these questions are redundant, but I love you girls so much. Thanks for tuning in and stay tuned for next week's episode. <laughs> Is that...